have something a little special for you here. It's something I just managed to sneak out uh, before we, we install it. Um, we don't have clean rooms here at uh, Copenhagen Suborbitals, but there are some things we keep extremely clean. This is why I'm wearing uh, clean rubber gloves and why I can't even put it down on the, uh, on the table below. This is the uh, Christmas tree assembly for the uh, liquid oxygen tank and it has already been uh, locks cleaned, which is my, must stay absolutely clean. Um, we're going to put it back in plastic bags uh, again in just a few minutes before we install it into the, to the tank. Um, this is nearly the same construction as we, uh, we flew on the Nexu 1 with one very important uh, detail. Um, we added a long uh, tube here, which is our, um, our capacitive level sensor for the liquid oxygen level in the tank. Um, it's something we had to add to the existing uh, Christmas tree assembly, or actually we, we constructed a new one, so uh, as to squeeze all the different pressure ports and everything else we needed into one single assembly. So what's going to happen is that the uh, liquid oxygen level, when we fill it up the, uh, the oxygen tank, will simply just, like any dipstick, will uh, of course uh, slide up this, uh, this uh, sensor and we will be able to electronically measure exactly what the level is within here. We just did the calibration with liquid oxygen uh, yesterday and we just got confirmation that the data seems good and we are ready to, uh, to proceed with the installation. Now, liquid oxygen, that's one of our propellants. It's our oxidizer and it's a uh, cryogenic oxidizer. So it will hover around uh, 90 Kelvin or minus 182 degrees Celsius. So it is extremely cold. Um, it will boil off uh, just to being at ambient pressure and uh, the tank being located in, in ambient temperatures. So it's gonna boil off like, uh, like steam out of a hot pot with water just by the temperature and the pressure we have here uh, under atmospheric conditions. So uh, it's ha it has to stay cold, otherwise we can't uh, use it as an oxidizer for a rocket engine. So we'll let it boil off and uh, it will sacrifice a bit of itself just to keep the, the, the main part of the uh, liquid oxygen cold. And just half a minute before launch, we close the vent valves, we pressurize the tank and then we're ready to go. going to install this one again as soon as possible with uh, with the burst disk uh, housing with the vent valve with the pressure sensor with the pressurization line and uh, finally a, um, a thermocouple to measure the temperature of the gas bubble above the liquid so this is a very very intricate nice little piece of engineering that's going to make a lot of a difference from last year's slightly messy filling process we've tried this concept at our uh, static engine test stand and it works just beautifully so we are we are very ha happy that uh, that Emil was able to uh, to just finish this very nice sensor for us just in time so from here on, it's assembly, 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 and we uh, will be putting the next two rockets together for the cold flow test in approximately two weeks.